What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here, bringing you an update. Um, so, Subscriber Appreciation Week went really, really well. I want to thank all you guys for uh, how fantastic that whole week went. And um, now I'm finally getting back into the groove of uh, college. We've got like five and a half, six weeks left, something like that. And uh, just trying to ride it out and finish that up. Um, sorry if my update schedule was a little bit off this week. Um, I lost internet like halfway throughout the week. We've been having problems with all that. I've been trying to get everything organized. But uh, hopefully I did. Uh, I got you the deck update and I got you the match on Sunday. But uh, everything is now going to resume. We're going to... To, to give you guys a very tentative schedule for the next six weeks up until uh, I go back home and uh, leave Virginia Tech and all that, um, you'll be getting your Wednesday, Saturday uploads as normal. Those are going to be Let's Plays, Video Duels, uh, whatever, um, just regular content. And then on Friday, um, I've only got a few deck profiles that from uh, Subscriber Appreciation Week recorded, and I've still got to record a couple more. Um, Storm Raider, I'm still going to do your Goliath deck. I just don't know when I'm going to get to it. I wanted to do it over Subscriber Appreciation Week, but like I said, we didn't have the cards to do it at the time, and uh, I'm really sorry about that, but I will get to that as soon as I can. I'm going to try to record it, uh, hopefully in the next day or two, and uh, get that to you on Friday. Um, and that is Storm Raiders Glass deck, as you guys saw from the deck competition way back when. Um, hopefully get you guys that update. We fixed it up. We made it a little better. Storm Raider gave me a pretty awesome list, and uh, hopefully get that to you guys. But yeah, um... Wednesday, Saturday, I'm going to get you guys your regular uploads, and then Friday, um, I know I'm not going to have enough deck profiles to last us these next uh, six, seven weeks, and uh, what I'm going to start doing on Fridays is just a regular update video to let you guys like know what's going on, maybe just like a little video blog or whatever's going on up here, um, or just if Kajudo drops some news, I will get that to you guys, but yeah, um, that's going to be what I'm expecting to start trying to do on Friday and then Wednesday Saturdays or just whatever we've got tons of matches pre-recorded and uh, we'll be getting those to you guys over the span of the next uh, six weeks or so and then uh, hopefully if Kaijudo drops uh, I'll get to that in a few minutes um, anyways what this updates all about is a uh, Kaijudo I know I'm getting I'm, <laughs> I'm late to the train like it left years earlier than uh, I'm just now getting to the station but uh I uh, want to tell you guys pretty much, um, if you haven't heard, uh, Skate Man Corey's doing a channel called the Kaijudo channel, and it's really awesome. He's bringing you guys updates about Kaijudo. He's just keeping it, like, almost totally, like, Kaijudo news updated. But, um, I just want to bring you the news here as well, um, so you get it from two places while, uh, while uh, Skate Man Corey's still building his rep over there. Definitely go subscribe to him. He's got some awesome content so far, and he's just starting out, and he could really use the support. But, yeah, um, Kaijudo, um... There's been a ton of updates over the past couple of weeks that we just haven't been able to get to because of Subscriber Appreciation Week and now me getting back into classes and all that, but I want to bring those to you now. Um, and first is they released the card rarities. Um, and they're the same rarities as they were in DM. Common, uncommon, rare, and then very rare, and then super rare. But what they're doing now is instead of like the little... It was like I, it was like the Tetris piece. I don't I don't know what you call it. It was like four squares, kind of like in a circle. What they're doing now is they're just what it looks like they're doing is they've got stars on the side, and five stars means super, four means very rare, three is rare, two is uncommon, and one is common. At least that's what I'm assuming they're doing because that's what's on the side of the card. And the hollows look sweet, guys. Um, I'm gonna leave the links down below to the Kajudo webpage. Definitely go check out all the stuff they got on there. They post all the links. If you click on the news section and then scroll down a little bit, you'll see where they've got post after post of what they've uh, been updating their site with over the past couple of weeks. And um, you'll see them in periodic order, whatever, whenever they update, they put the newest one on the top. So yeah, they got the card rarities up there, which is good news because uh, the more and more they bring out information about this, the more and more it looks like DM. They've also got a... Uh, a link on there that talks about the TCG where they talk about uh, creatures and spells so it's looking like the two basic cards that we had in DM you know creatures and spells I don't know if they're gonna do evolution yet but I, I mean you never know it's it's only base set that they're probably gonna talk about for a little while but uh, we've got creatures spells the rarities and then on top of that um, They've released two cards so far, with, with text at least, which is Tatsuron and then Razor Kinder, in the two-player battle 
deck, which uh, I'll get to that. I'll get more on that in a second, but I want to talk about Tetsuron and Razor Kinder. Tetsuron's got um, Double Breaker, which means we've got shields. Uh, double Breaker, I, I don't know what else Double Breaker could mean in terms of the game other than shields. So, shield mechanic is hopefully there. I'm, I mean, 95% hoping that that's what Double Breaker means. I don't see what else it could mean. And then on top of that, he's got another ability called Fury Charge, which is like Speed Attacker, except it only lets him... He, he doesn't get summoning sickness. He, he gets like half summoning sickness. When you summon him, he can attack immediately, but only if that's only if he's attacking a creature. So when you summon him, you can attack a creature or not do anything with him in the next turn. He gets whatever, attack, summoning sickness. He has summoning sickness, but he can attack creatures the turn he summoned. So that's what Fury Charger is. And then Razor Kinder is a darkness card in the two player and the other two player starter deck which uh, has an ability called Grab and Stab, which when you summon him to the battle zone, and they say battle zone, so that means we've got the battle zone, it's battle zones are there, so again, more similarities to Duel Masters. Um, but his ability says when you summon him, or when he's put into the battle zone, choose a target enemy creature and banish it. So I don't know if they're bringing remove from play abilities into the game now, or if banish just means send to the graveyard, um, it's too early to tell, we don't have enough information yet, but that's what his ability says. Target one enemy creature on board, or target one enemy, and banish it. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, so far, the, a lot of similarities to Duel Masters, and another notable fact is, um, they took the mana, the cards look almost identical to Duel Master cards, except they took the like they've got the mana cost up there, they've got the name, they've got the race, they've got the picture, they've got the they've got the text, they've got flavor text. But instead of the little one that they would put on the bottom of the cards, um, that's removed, that's gone. And but what I think they've left instead is now they've changed the symbols. Like you know how fire had like the gear symbol in the center in the center of the text of the card. They've got like a glove symbol, and I think that's the symbol for all the cards. I'm not sure. Don't quote me, but I think that's what's going to be representing mana and. I think all cards are still going to represent mana because the two, both of the two player starter decks are 40 card decks and I don't see, I, it doesn't make sense since Magic's like a 60 card thing that, and they use lands, since we're only getting 40 card decks, I don't think they're establishing a mana aspect to the game, so, uh, or like a land aspect to the game, I think all the cards are still going to be mana, they're going to keep that mechanic from Duel Masters, but again, don't quote me, I'm just speculating here it's it's what the information we've been giving that's that's sort of what they're pushing towards in, in my opinion that's what it looks like so if you have any theories comment down below I'd love to hear what you guys think but um so far uh, we had a release date I think a while back that was in the in the coding or whatever Yami Michael had brought it up that it was April 18th was the date of the release but what I think that they're releasing the battle decks now and and I don't know how Duel Masters did this in the past because I wasn't around in the very beginning of Duel Masters, but they're releasing the battle decks on June 26, which happens to be on my birthday, guys. So, 21st birthday is going to be Kaijudo instead of anything else that I would probably be doing on my 21st birthday. I don't, I don't know. Don't, whatever. But anyways, um, they're releasing the battle decks on June 26, which means that they might be releasing the set June 26. I don't know if they're going to release the set a little bit before and then release the battle decks, but June 26 is the only confirmed date we have. And like I was saying with the April 18th date, I think, me and CVH were talking about this, I think that April 18th date is going to be something like they're going to release something on the site that tells us when the release date is. So it's like a release date for when they're going to release the game. Like, <laughs> it's it's when they're going to tell us when the release date is, if that makes sense. So, um, don't get your hopes up. Uh, I mean, it's like a month now until April 18th, so I feel like we'd know more about the game if they were actually going to release it on April 18th. So, we'll see what happens on that date. Um, but as far as those updates go, that's pretty much the bulk of what they've released so far. They've given us a whole lot of stuff about the show, like... They've told us about Gabe and Allie and their creatures. Uh, we got a little bit of info on that koala thing from the Darkness Civ. We know about Gabe's creatures. Uh, I, I don't remember its name. It was a water card. 
and uh, some 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 cyber lord thing. But uh, oh yeah, and on top of that, uh, under in the sneak peek page, if you scroll all the way down, they've actually released images of old Duel Master cards. Like we've got the image for Pyro Fighter, uh, Mero Ooze, Fairy Child, and Skull Cutter. And the f and those four cards on the bottom are their old card art images. So I don't know if they're actually gonna like redo the card art and just like bring that card back fully or change their name. I think like Pyro Fighter's now called like Giga Giga Flame or Gigio Flame or something like that. And uh, I don't I don't know what they're gonna do with that. But the old card art is there, and it's just something interesting. I don't know what they're gonna do with that yet, but uh, I guess we'll see. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the update so far. Other than that, they've released like some interviews. Uh, some of the guys who are actually working on it and voice acting for it, uh, they've got them in some interviews talking about the show. Um, we learned a little bit about Ray and his past with Tetsuron and uh, it's just other show stuff. If you're interested in that, definitely go to the website and check it out. I'm leaving the link below and uh, just click on the news section or the uh, the news section is where most of the updates are. Then the sneak peeks got some stuff about card images. And uh, I can't remember what the other link is called. The game one has some stuff about the TCG. It's got the battle decks on there. And I, I would definitely check all that out. Um, just a ton of updates so far. And I'm going to try to stay on top of these from now on and bring you guys updates as soon as they come out for Kaijuda so you know when to look. And uh, you don't have to keep checking back the website. You can just come here and get all your news and be good to go. So yeah, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for Kaijudo. Um, I did want to tell you I am getting... Get this camera and not kill anything. I am getting these letters sent out. Um, I've got a whole bunch here. I've got like 15 letters to send out to you guys. They're all the uh, cards and signed cards that we're going to be sending out to you. Um, I've got Berserking's package there. Uh, and all these will be in the mail um, after you see this video. Um, I think I'll be getting this video up tonight soon after I record it. And then uh, these will be in the mail hopefully Tuesday and on their way to you guys. So I uh, look forward to all that. Um, and then I'm also I'm working on what I'm going to try to do. And let me know if you guys are interested in this. Um, I'm going to start doing like blank mat images. This is something I threw together uh, Saturday night. Um, just took the image of Torcon and uh, just drew it onto a mat. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Torcon right there. So uh, let me know if you guys are interested. Um, what I'm going to start doing, probably after the college semester ends, is uh, is uh, actually take, start getting like blank mats and uh, take requests. If you guys want like a card image on a blank mat, um, I'm going to start trying to like sell these. Like I'll draw an image on there um, with whatever you guys request, and then uh, send it out to you, and it'll be however much I decide it it will be. And if you guys are interested, you guys can let me know. But uh, let me know if you guys, in the first place, are even interested. This is probably not going to be something I'm going to be doing for the next, I don't know, week or two. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, I can put any image onto it. Um, I, I just need for you to send me the image you want or tell me what you want. Like, if it's a card, tell me what card you want on it. I can draw it on there with blank mats of every color. I've got, like, red, green, just regular white, pink, like you just saw, yellow. Um, just let me know what color mat you want, what card you want on it. I can put whatever you want, text, anything like that. I can pretty much draw whatever you want on a mat. So let me know if you're interested in that. And um, hopefully when the college semester ends in about uh, five or six weeks, I can start taking requests for those and uh, doing that. So uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Kaijudo, I'm sending you guys' letters out. Um, I'm sending Berserking's package out, hopefully in the next... Uh, I'm still waiting on a couple things. I'm having like some stuff mailed to me so I can put more in it. And also, 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 um, last thing, um, I was gonna hold a contest during Subscriber Appreciation Week, like, inside of Subscriber Appreciate, inside of that point system for the Aqua Hulkus and Energy Streams, but I never got around to it. Um, so, in the next week or so, I'm gonna come up, I, I think, I've got a contest in mind, but I'm not quite sure how I want to go about doing it yet, but, uh, I will be holding a contest for those uh, that place at Aqua Hocus and that place at Streams and some other promos and stuff. And I'll be holding that contest in about a week for those. Um, I was going to do it in between Subscriber Appreciation Week so I could just send everything out at the same time, but it never happened because we were just so busy and kind of got lost in the whole 
realm of everything that was going on. But uh, I will be holding a contest for the place at a Hulk is and the place at a stream. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, that's pretty much it for now, guys. Um, leave a like. Um, definitely check out uh, Skate Man Corey's The Kaijudo channel in the link below. Um, uh, a few other shout outs. Gorby's WCNU. He does it every. Uh, he does his radio show every Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So definitely check that out. That link is below. And then uh, check out the Kaijudo link below for sure. That's got all your updates for everything that's going on so far. And uh, I think they update every in like the middle of the week. Uh, I don't know when it. I really don't know when it is because I've hardly been paying attention to it. But I'm gonna try to stay on top of that now, and I'll let you know if I find out what that exact date is, if there even is one. So uh, definitely uh, stay tuned, and uh, hopefully, guys, I will see you next time. Um, I'll have another match for you up on Wednesday, and we'll go from there. So yeah, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I will see you later. Peace.